Kate and Nika, so you got a sign about the First Amendment, uh, and we're downtown right now at this protest. Can you talk about what the protest is about? Yeah, I think in Santa Cruz there's been an increasing, um, I guess, I don't know, corporatization of this entire downtown space, so they're trying to make it so people can't have blankets or really have, like, meaningful street art performances, which to me just takes away from the character of Santa Cruz, and that's why some people come down here to shop, so, oh dear. <laughs> that's, that's loud. Yeah. Uh, so when you when you say blankets, you're referring to people who are who are art vendors down here. Well, I mean too, that could go for homeless people too. Right. Yeah, Just anybody who wants to roll out a blanket and yeah. sit on it, so or anyone that's concerned for homeless rights, or even concerned for um, supporting the arts, which is the other side of my sign. I think that's a really important thing for people to speak out to the city council, even though I don't think they really listen that much. Well, they, li they listen all right, and then they just go ahead and vote for the thing they were going to yeah. vote for anyway. Yeah, but we have these guys performing over here, and then, you know, if you, maybe if he had a blanket in front of him with his guitar open, maybe for donations, they might give him a ticket, so... So do you think that, that art vendors were bad for downtown? No, I think it brings people down here, and I know that my sister and I came down to Santa Cruz when we didn't live here just to experience the different scene, because all the culture. Like everywhere else, why would you make it a destination to come to? Mm -hmm. It's like no one's going to spend their money and then no one's really going to be able to come down here and hang out. So, like you said, you might want to move, but that's how a lot of people feel now. Instead of making this a place they want to come live, they feel like they might want to move. And that's taking away from the character of Santa Cruz, too. Well, a lot, of that, so a lot of that has to do with the economy. Yeah. Because it's just so expensive to live here, it's driving all the poor people out. Yeah. And I almost wonder if the people in the city government uh, don't want to fix the economy because they, they don't like all the poor people so they'd like to see them all be driven out. Yeah, they like to do gentrification here and from what I saw in the city council they just have no business being there because they don't represent the people of Santa Cruz. So. Alright, thank you Danica. All right, I'm talking to, who are you? Danica DePoy. Okay, <laughs> and, and who are you on Twitter if people want to find you? Um, D underscore Cassandra underscore D. Okay, alright, thank you.